Uh, we had one practice, so you can't be that much different. But, you know, you know, just want everybody to do a little bit more. Um, obviously, we can make up rebounds and points. Those block shots are what you're not going to make up. And so um, we'll see. Um, this team has a clean slate. And it's a, it's a blank canvas. It's whatever they want it to be. Um, we just, all of us, any fan, just fight, compete, and battle. If you don't, don't go in the game. Just stay out. You know, and, and you know, the, the tentativeness is just lack of competitiveness. You know, we can't, it's hard to say when you're playing 31 minutes, well, it takes me out. You're playing 31 minutes. But there, you can't use any, you just got to go battle. I mean, we're playing a good team on the road. A uh, team that plays well at home. That's won their last two games, um, and both I think they were both road games. They won, and so they're going to be a confident team. Um, they're a post-up team. Uh, they're going to go right at us in the post, and um, they're a grinded, tough, uh, physical, defensive team. And um, we'll we'll see where we are at this point. Cal Willie really said his knee is fine, but he's not sure his conditioning is up to play in. 35 minutes a game. Yeah, he, he what, what we've play. said is play five, six minutes, sub yourself. He's not the issue of subbing himself. I got some other guys who will not sub themselves. And whether they're, you know, you're out there and you're killing us, I want to be out here killing you. And, and so he will sub himself. If you watch him, he, when he's tired, he'll come out. And what all I told him is just be you. You know what you do well. Be you, sub yourself. Tell me when you're ready to go. You'll play every minute you can play. You know, stay on the floor. Uh, you're not Nerlens, but Nerlens is not you. There are things you do well that Nerlens didn't do well. So you just be you. You didn't have to be anything else. John said you told him this is your coming out party. Who said that? John Hood. Yeah, this is an op. Really? Yeah, it's it's also gives John Hood a chance. You know what we'll do is we'll watch the game, and if there's a non-competitive guy out there, he's coming out. And now you have you know if I don't compete, he takes me out every time. You just say it. It ain't about missed shots. It's not about turnovers. It's about competing. So John Hood in practice yesterday is competing his butt off. So I can see him going in, and I said, it's not us believing in John. John believing in John. But you got to go on that court. Demonstrated performance is the only way to build self-esteem, self-confidence. It's not what I say. It's not what we're all saying to him in there. He's got to go in the game and do it. John, you what's this? experimented more with zone with this team than we Maybe. Do Maybe. Before? Maybe, you know, we're, we're, we're prepared for it. That's not why we did it all this time, but we're absolutely prepared to play it and, uh, and play it for long stretches if we want to. But, you know, again, was our def were, were the defensive numbers all based on Nerlens? Well, we're going to find out because our defensive numbers weren't the issue. We were turning it over. No aggressive play. Um, you know, you make the play. I mean, we just, we just got to have guys out there balling. And if we're going to make turnovers with aggressive guys, we're making them with unaggressive guys. So might as well have attacking guys out there trying and going at it. And it doesn't mean we don't grind it out and play how we're playing, but I just want to see guys that want to create contact, that uh, not running people over. We got a couple guys head down, you know, but I'm saying create. Here you go. You got a gap. The guy's coming. Don't run and flip. Create that contact, and we're, we're working on it. Look, this is a, a great opportunity. One guy's misery is another guy's opportunity, and that's for all these guys. Um, they have their own picture they want to paint. Let's paint it. Um, you can look at this in one of two ways, like, okay, um, can we be better? Well, let's see. Why not chase it? Well, you know, we've um, got seven games left. How much was this team capable? I think we still can be good. We've got good players. we just got a couple that aren't competing at all, and you're looking for excuses, and they just got to stop and go play. What do you say to your guards after a game like that last one? You, know, you said it was going to be a guards game, and it was overwhelming in the other. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't very good. Um, well, I thought Jared battled, you know, did some good things, and I think Julius is doing what he can. Julius is giving you everything he can. Um, you know, but like I said, we uh, – we got some things to figure out, and they do as a team. You know, one of the things they did I loved in the game is they, they subbed a guy, a guy or two. They just came over to me and said, get him out. Scared to death. Get him out. 
And I took the guy out. And I said, you got to hold each other accountable. They're like, we want to be positive. And I said, good. Now, what if a guy is out there, well, hold him responsible. You guys, I'll, you tell me to take somebody out, he's out. And it's never for missing shots or turn. It's not what they're talking about. You know, no, you're not talking on defense. You're into your own thing. And they just say, we can't win that way. And they know that. Um, but you know what's funny? We win five of six. We do have a, an injury that that can either bring you together or separate you. But now we're on the cusp of, okay, let's see what we are. Let's learn. It's not, I'm not afraid of it. And I've been here, not where I've lost a player, but I've been here where you're up against it and you're not playing well. I've done, I've done this long enough. My thing, the whole vision is, okay, let's, let's try to make this special and unique. Um, going to Florida and losing, everybody has this year. A couple guys showed their colors and now, you know, maybe they got to take a step back. But the reality of it is we are still got good players. We're still in the same position. We don't talk enough. We don't play for the team enough. Um, and what I mean by that is if they make a mistake, if the things don't go right, they, they just – a couple guys, it's two. When they hang their head, they got to come out. The minute you see it, get out. You're zapping us. And they got to recognize it's very selfish, very selfish. See, guys, again, think selfishness is, I don't shoot every ball. I don't shoot every ball. I'm not selfish. Yeah, you are. You're not helping your teammates. You're not in a position to, to play two guys when you have a chance. You're not talking. You're not switching when you have opportunities. Everything's about how you feel. That's selfish. And we're just trying to slowly get that through. Now, we can't afford that. And I think they know it. And I think you'll see guys be subbed out by their teammates. Get them out. Because it's just, let's be an effort team. Let's be an energy team. If you can't play that way, then don't play. Cal, you said Maryland was insured. Does he have the NCAA insurance? Or I know that doesn't cover necessarily only just the season, a career-ending injury, but or did he have a private? Policy? No, you you have. He had the uh, the the, the career-ending insurance that uh, he's allowed to have. And you guys all read what I said. It's just it's disappointing we don't take care of that, so they can be fully insured. And then if the kids want to take out insurance for draft position, you know, let them take a loan and do it. I mean, why? Well, only rich kids can do that. Have we told the president this yet? I mean, I, I just don't get some of the stuff, you know, and, and this is one of them. And I, and I also think, again, um, you know, it proves the point of if a kid's ready to go, you let him go. Now, if we want this to two years, let's do something to, to make that happen. Let's work with the Players Association. Let's get those guys in a room and try to figure out how we do it. Um, and I made the point, you know, well, let's go to let them go out of high school. I, I just don't agree with that, not because I'm coaching at Kentucky. I've never agreed with that. And the reason is you're going to have all these kids thinking they're going directly to the league. Well, let's do it in football, too, then. Let's do it both sports. Let's do it basketball and football. Or what if a kid gets hurt as a, so a, a sophomore, junior in high school? Let them come out of high school. I mean, let's just – let's do what's right for the kids. Let's make sure we're putting education on the front burner here and understanding that, uh, in my case, I don't like the one and done rule. I'll deal with it, but it's not what I like, and I seem to be the only one speaking out about it unless you want to say, well, I can't get those kids. Let them go directly to – you know, we – they're here, so what do we do and how do we deal with this? Yeah, a little uh, off topic. Last uh, question. The Harrison twins said that when you were recruiting them, one thing they really liked – that you didn't kind of BS them or kiss their rear end. It was very matter of fact, and they liked that. You shot them straight. Was that the approach with them? Is that your approach? That's with them? how I recruit every kid. I'm not, I don't want them coming here fooled because not, then you're dealing with stuff you don't need to deal with. And when a guy, you know, is not doing what he's supposed to or not playing to the level, and, you know, they want you to keep it real unless you're keeping it real with them sometimes. But that's how we recruit. I'm not here to, BS anybody, if this is a great situation for you to prosper and reach your dreams, come. If it's not, if you want something different than this, then don't come here. But I told our team, the adversity this team has gone through all year, in this environment, Kentucky's environment, which is a pro environment, there's no college team that has this pregame. They have one guy, maybe shows up, and he's a beat writer who fishes with the coach. Okay? <laughs> They don't have a guy, his whole challenge is to be the devil. 
I mean, that's not what they have, okay? So here's what I'm saying to our guys. This adversity you're going through, you're up against it, it's all public. Dealing with that stuff, it's going to help you later in life. It's like Tayshawn, he wins a world championship. He said, what up? How are you going to deal with all this? I said, what are you talking about? I went to Kentucky. Dealing with this, this is nothing. So this, this is, again, a, a great lesson. And, and I'm anxious to see guys step up and play, and I think it will happen. Thanks.